Family, peace, family. Welcome back to the page. If this is your first time viewing, I am No Fun Vo. And if this is not your first time, like I said, welcome back. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. You feel me? <clears throat> um, you know how I like to start it off. Peace to all the high vibrational beings of the planet. Peace to all the gods and goddesses. Peace to all the kings and the queens. Peace to all the princes and princesses. And peace to those, you know, trying to rise out of the situation and trying to better the situation. And that's basically what I like to get into, but on a metaphysical level. Because just like you, I was, you know, someone searching for the truth and searching for a better version of myself. Even though I was always in transformation of becoming a better, a better me, even if I wasn't aware of it. Because just by coming into high vibrational places and coming into contact with high vibrational things, so things start to roll up off on you, and you, you know, that's what you become also. My angles not even. But um, today basically I want to get into um clairvoyance. We're gonna go into a little bit of that. We're gonna go into a little bit of. Um, understanding your subconscious mind and just understanding how it works and um, the things that you can do to better your situation in your life just by tapping into your subconscious mind, which is a gift of God. So with us being magnetism made of electricity and magnetism, because like I went into last, um, last video which i should definitely go watch that one it was kind of long but it's because i had to break down a lot in that video but basically in simplest terms every piece of your body is a nerve like down to the hairs down to the nails it's a nerve at the end of the day it's nerves all in your teeth your hair is a electricity nerve and it's just a big you're know, like and you know what they uh pictify nerves every time they show in the body it's like an electricity line so you gotta look at it like that like these electricity lines are combined together to create this beam and it's full of magnetism like i said electricity and magnetism so we have some of the we have the strongest connections as far as being able to use abilities but it's just like a car that you never put into sport mode it changes the gears it takes different reaction times and that just comes with like being aware of the power that you have inside of you. Because if you don't know that you have the power, then you definitely can't use the power. You can have it or you can be misusing it. And once you know that you do have power, it should be able to bring you into hopefully an embetterment of yourself and using your powers. Because you will be more, it will be more guided and more direct than once you know you had it versus it just being you know, spread it out in no particular direction. But with this specific one, clairvoyance, if you haven't heard of it, it's a uh, thought, tr thought transfer. This is basically like telekinesis and things of that sort. You being able to talk and because you are someone that you trying to talk to through telepathy, y'all one in the same. And it came to me like, that's why I had to press play on the video because something kind of just you know, kind of had touched my spirit and stuff, and I just had to, you know, it wouldn't it be like miraculous like that, I like to just spill it out because it was meant for this video and it pertains to the video also. So, I always depict this energy that, this energy is all throughout the universe, but they always depict this, this energy. And is there any true separation Yes, we want to think of our energy as our own and our spirit as our own, but is there any true separation at the end of the day when it comes back to the one? Because all this is just like if you, like um, Bobby Hammond always says, it's like if you take a cup, of, a cup and you dip it in the ocean, it's still a cup of ocean. You're just thinking of it as a cup of water now because it's in a smaller, you know, a smaller ratio, but it's still the whole at the end of the day. And that cup might be a different size, a different shape. It could be a long, skinny cup. But at the end of the day, it's still the same energy, same water that's throughout these, you know, objects. And in our case, inside of these uh, beings, it's just an energy. So you and someone else 
could be on the same, you know, frequency and sign of the energy, and y'all would have the same likeness of mannerism and things of that sort, because all it is is an energy that you are embracing at the end of the day. And there is no separation. Because at the end of the day, we all one. All melanated beings in the neuromelanated beings in the universe, they are we are all one. That's why you can see somebody video, y'all could be doing most of the same things because y'all both on the same spiritual path and y'all both tapping in that same energy pathway. Because like I said, it's a nerve, all this in the universe is nerves and waves and like I said, pathways and just to get to the final source at the end of the day. That's why when one, they can't take the, us all down because the same energy that I embody, someone else embodies that same energy. They just have to use it to manifest the same thing and then they will be able to manifest this reality in which people are always just wondering how, how, how. And you just can't be afraid of the knowledge. Like, don't be afraid of new knowledge. And if the only knowledge that you have is what you learned at school, then you show you need to get like in another zone like of learning because they don't teach you barely nothing. Even as far as like, I guess learning that they knowledge is good, but it's people that did amazing things and they have fourth grade education. So it's not even so, cause we can, we naturally learn. We, this is how we do this. We can go to any planet, we're gonna thrive. Our energy is gonna thrive. The energy that we, it's always gonna thrive. So you can throw us in any environment. Nine times out of 10, we're gonna be able to thrive and grow with under the right circumstances. And even some, sometimes in the wrong circumstances. I know me personally, what put me on this journey, this journey is just, even before I was tapping in and stuff, like, we just take it back to, like, you know, childhood. I ain't gonna say I, probably not the most terriblest childhood in the whole entire universe, but it wasn't just, you know, a piece of cake, and it just wasn't an easy path. I did a lot of moving around from home to home, and it was a lot going on. I was isolated for a long time, you know, as a kid. I really didn't, um, I really didn't grow up with my mom or dad, truly, so as far as, like, the real, you know, um, I guess the important years, they say the, the first eight years was just, like, it was definitely, like, Rocky and it let me know that it just wasn't gonna be no easy pathway. So even growing up, I knew that I was just gonna have to put in work and I was just gonna have to, you know, I don't wanna say depend on myself because I wanna be able to depend on people because I know that there are people that I even listen to that might not be in my inner family, but they still give me knowledge that help me grow and help me raise my perception and thereby raising my vibration. So even if it's not your physical family, y'all can still embody that same energy of a family because there were different sparks and different um, flames that went on. So with the people that have this certain spark, this certain energy that could, it could have been here for millennials, this particular energy that people tap into that have them on the same frequency. That energy been here before, not even dormant, but just been here since the beginning. And there are different ones you can also tap into, which we go into in another lesson. I didn't really get to do too much deep diving too much because I was really enjoying my birthday week and things of that sort. So it's really like a relaxation of mind, relaxation of, you know, I just had to, you feel me, take some time to myself. But I definitely had fun and everything. And my birthday was, it had passed, it was in March. You know, so um, March 25th, so it was cool though. It was very cool. Like it was a long week, but I had fun though. And you know, at the end of the day, memories is what you carry with you. Even if you don't remember it, I guess we can dive into the subconscious, you feel me? See, I like when it just kind of bounce into it. So, let's just say something that happened to you during your childhood you don't remember because as a child you don't really remember a lot of things that go on in your life so 
these things trickle down sometimes to grow and to manifest because all these were, were um, like I said, when you were a kid and everything, all these were, were seeds. And basically, your conscience, which if you're looking at this video and things of that sort, you're probably using your conscience. You're probably using that most definitely because that's how you interact with the everything around you, like that's using your conscience. What you pick up, things of that sort, is going to be based on your subconscious because you are not necessarily conscious of your subconscious unless you have did a lot of um, diving into your subconscious a lot, a lot, a lot. Then sometimes, like right now, I can, I can be, I'm envisioning my subconscious while I'm talking to y'all. Like, it's like a different dimension around me right now. And it might seem like I'm in a dimension with y'all because it's just how it feels. But truly, I can see the other dimension overlaying, over, overlaying within this one. It's like two in one. It's like a, you know, different type of feeling, but... It's something that you have to learn how to, like I said, control and everything. Because with going into your subconscious, it's going to unlock these these doors. And these doors lead to these beings and this new knowledge that you bring back with you. If you look into Neo, when you went into the door to even talk to the Oracle, that was a whole different a whole different dimension that he just had went into. All those doors, different dimensions. And when you unlock these dimensions, you bring those memories back with you. Because it can be stored in the memory bank. At least the memory bank going to be there for, you know, if it's of importance. That's why sometimes your subconscious will shock you and will use different methods so that it really stick with you more. Because somebody telling you something all day is something cool, but when it's actually impacted on you, then you can actually retain it better. That's why we go through those experiences. It could be a very traumatic experience, and it's just like, I done been through it now. I done... Even during my job, I go through elevators and they 30 floors. I can still, I have dreams where I go into these dimensions where the elevator gonna crash. So I didn't been through that experience before. So I'd be scared of getting on the elevator to do these particular things, go through these elevations when I've seen what can happen at the end. I feel like I've experienced it in a weird way, which I have, because there is no separation in between the dimensions except for just layers, and that's only because our perception tells us that we are on the same layer field. That's why somebody can be in a whole different new place. They in their own little spot now, but when they come back to the, that's more when they in this, the subconscious, they in their mind. That's when they be going up, but then when they come back to the conscious level, they realize that there's people around and you start to come back into realization. But most, most of your characteristics and things of that sort come from your subconscious mind. So the more you deep dive into your subconscious mind, the more it's going to reveal characteristics, characteristics of yourself if you're paying attention. It's either going to show you, because just going into myself, because I, I want to talk about myself a little bit more, you know. I'm not trying to be of selfishness, but I feel like this is a way for me to, you know, tell my story. And this is how I release on the conscious level. So that's how I do it currently. And I do got um, a new song coming out probably this month. So I'll be looking for it. Definitely going to be this month. So I'll be looking out for it. It's going to be Apple Music. Of course, I'm going to drop it on YouTube. Um, All the good stuff. You know, you're going to be able to find it on Frovo. It's called Beat, 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 so just be on the lookout for it, it's coming up. Um, so, when you're going into your subconscious mind, it's going to reveal things about you that you might not even know about yourself because you're not on these certain dimensions with your certain energy that you have. The energy that you have is going to be translated to you through your visions and through when you tra astral traveling because you're going to only astral travel to these certain energy points that you also carry. I ain't no just going into no free space and just, uh, your energy have to have been there and it has to still be there in order for you to travel there. And energy cannot, cannot be erased or, you know, destroyed. It's just only transferred. And the more that's transferred, the more the conscious is transferred into the other dimension. So, when you are astral traveling things of this sort, 
you are seeing different versions of your energy that you carry. And you have different energies that you carry. So when you go into a dimension and you fighting a battle and things of that sort, it takes a real person to be able to do these things. And yeah, we ha might have some visions that are more horrific and you have to deal with those. You have to let them pass because maybe that's your mind getting rid of some things and that's some things that have passed. So let them all flow through, but just know that is an energy that you can't use to be aware of it at the end of the day because maybe it can make you in your conscious mind look into some things that can help you better that part of you. I know me personally, I used to have a lot of visions where it seemed like people couldn't hear when I was talking. Like, and it just seemed like my voice would just go away completely. And like, I just couldn't, like nobody could hear me. I didn't have some dreams where I'd just be in the living room, even though I don't remember it completely. Like I said, that subconscious remember. So I was in the living room with my mom and I was looking at this TV and it seemed like an energy was just pulling me back away from her and everything. And I was trying to call for her and stuff like that. And it's like my voice wasn't working. So it just, that was just one mere example of just like your subconscious just sometimes telling you to cut cords and those experiences is what translated into my conscious mind, you feel me? Because I went through those experiences, even if it wasn't on a, you know, this earth uh, conscious level, it was in another dimension. But like I said, the energy still relate in. Those, those were definitely my higher selves and just letting me know I might have to let some things go. And, you know, you have to listen to these things. And that just comes with having so many of these visions, you can start to kind of interpret interpret them better and understand what they, understand what they mean more. Versus just, let, yeah, you, you can let it go through and just out, but understand it, carry it, let it flow, you know, and then just act, uh, act accordingly. You know, don't ignore these visions that you have because it comes from your subconscious mind. And that's where 90 to 95% of your, uh, of your conscious mind is experience of your subconscious mind. So that's why even when I'm, you know, astral traveling and things, I still have certain vibrations playing around me so that it can protect my being because it's still, okay, I don't know if y'all ever had this, but <clears throat> I remember being young, you'll be sleeping in the living room or something and somebody has something on, on TV. And then once you start coming back into this reality, you will actually see that going on in your vision. I don't know if y'all ever had that experience before. I think like, well, it, it happens a lot, kind of. You know, if I be sleep with a TV on or something, I'll be waking up and then it's like that energy of, I can see the movie and I ain't even, I'm not even, you know, even looking at the TV or anything. It's like I'm in the, in the movie at that point. And it just goes into kind of letting you know how, how powerful your subconscious mind is. If you're listening to some powerful, you know, as you're waking up, as you're rising, it's letting those vibrations in your mind know what you're rising into, what you're going into. That's why the more I started listening to more high frequency sounds and, you know, subliminal messages. That's why I was telling y'all about probably five videos ago, subliminal messages that could be in, they definitely be in songs a lot. Like it's under layers to song. You hear the, you hear the conscious with on top, but you forget that 95% of the music is stuff that you don't hear. These are the messages they put inside of your mind that you might not even know about. And the more I listen to subliminal sounds and stuff, it kind of led me to understand I can't even really hear the subliminal message in there. But I know it's back there because it's a subliminal message. <laughs> So it's like, how can it not be in there, you know? So, crazy, wherever you live in, you just gotta be. That's why that come with awareness, though. But if you never looked into subliminal messages, you might never think that someone could be controlling you without even you knowing. They could have a commercial on TV in the end. In the background, it could be like, bye, 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 bye. You don't know what it's saying. You can't hear it, but it's in the background and, and it's still carrying the message. When you're looking at TV, a certain channel, 
it could be a subliminal message in that channel. The whole, even on commercials, during the breaks, during when it's playing, it could be the subliminal message in the back. Leaving you, it could be saying, you know, kill, kill, kill. You know, you never know what the subliminal message is in. That's why even when I do listen to subliminal messages, you always have to, you know, be ca be cautious of them because they could say it. T they could tell you that they're saying one thing, and it could be saying another thing. But at the end of the day, it's all about your perception and what you do. You know, because some somebody could be telling you that, and you if you still think it, if you if your mind thinks that it's going to be used for hearing something then that's what the mind gonna make it do. And that's what people, peace, peace, my fault family, uh, storage full, kinda had threw my stuff off. But basically what I was getting into was, um, that's what the people of the 1970s and things with the little, the rattlesnake oil and all those things, they were using those because they knew, even though it kinda still used this day, but it's not so much up front. They were just using people's subconscious mind because if they, at first, instead of a pill, pill, they just say you got you have a headache or something. You give yourself a pill, it might have a little flavoring or something like that. But at the beginning, when they first did the pills, it, it was just going to tell you that it got rid of the headache. It might be just like they said, like a little uh, water pill or a little baking soda pill they give you. But it, but it will still give you that um that same effect because it's all about what your subconscious mind thinks and it's all about definitely what your definitely what your subconscious mind thinks. But I'm gonna have to video up family because it keep on phone keep on, you know, acting a certain type of way that they am just gonna get that under control. So until next time, peace family, peace. Uh definitely be getting ready for this uh this eclipse that's coming up so be tapping in all month heavy 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 because we finna have a heavy energy coming in and you want to try to embody this energy as much as possible so definitely be meditating as much as possible be paying attention to these signs around you because this is going to bring you pay attention to your dreams right now pay attention to your visions just know that this energy going to be picking up more and more this month so be focused on positivity and bettering your life because who knows what this energy going to bring in and it's going to bring in a powerful new <clears throat> awakening it's going to have a lot going on so like i said keep tapping in all month and really every day you need to be doing it regardless if like i said a couple of videos ago it's always something important going on in the universe just all going on inside you this the, the outside is just a mere representation of the inside so know that there's something powerful, a powerful energy about to be happening inside of you at the end of the day. So pay attention, family, pay attention. So with that being said, peace to all the high vibration people of the planet. Peace to all the gods and goddesses. Peace to all the kings and the queens. Peace to all the princes and princesses. Stay up, family. I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you.